How about Hyrule Warriors? Uh, announced uh, today as well from the Tecmo Koei team, Dynasty Warriors. Hack and Slasher. I'm not a big Hack and Slash fan, but this could be an interesting use of a property. Nintendo trusting uh, someone else to with a Zelda game to go, go out and do it and see what happens. Truthfully, I I like a Dynasty Warriors game once every five years. You, okay. don't, you don't need every one, okay? They're, they're, because they're all the same, but they're fun. Sure. Um, they're fun for what they are. They're mindless. I to me that to me it's kind of bothersome. It's Nintendo. Bothersome. It's going. It's Nintendo going to the well. You're farming out your best character for a dime a dozen beat 'em up franchise. That's ridiculous. Uh, is it ridiculous? Yes. Because they they have never done a game like that before, though. No, and I mean I'm sure it might be fun, but to me that's really risky. I'm just saying in how it looks because. Lots of people can like Dynasty Warriors games. I do, and other people do. But it's not known as being a deep franchise. It's a franchise where they just recycle things. It's yeah, it, it, it's completely creatively it's, stagnant. It's mindless. Yeah, it, it's absolutely mindless. And to take one of your flagship characters and to just cut and paste him into this series, to me, that's dangerous. Yeah, well, well, we don't have enough details to know if they're going to add any other elements. Obviously, I guess Dynasty Warriors, well, there's usually like five different playable characters or more. Like, there's usually a yeah. Well, the the code name Hyrule Warriors leads me to believe that there are going to be other playable characters in there. And like I said, I'm sure it'll turn out to be fun and playable. But my main concern is for people who are bigger Nintendo fans than I, who are going to look at this and say, "Does this diminish the original franchise in their eyes?" Okay, Zelda Crossbow. Did that diminish the franchise? Yeah, but that was just a pack in for. A, but I mean, I mean, okay. how 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 freaking snobbish are we gonna get just because of the franchises? You know. Like, well, like I said, I, I don't personally care, but I have a feeling that that's what we're going to see. I haven't looked at the reaction. I mean, look, look at the look at the Mario franchise. There's been lots of terrible, like the Mario Olympic games and, and things. Has that did that tarnish the franchise to an extent? They still come out with, with great games. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I think it's I think it's a way of just. Like I think say, everyone got used to Nintendo it, being crossed over into other things, though. I, I, you I think just, so? Yeah. You want me Mario being crossed over? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Mario being crossed over and other things to where it means less. And like I said, I'm sure it'll probably be a fun game. I just feel like that there are going to be some serious... If they're trying to appeal to core fans, I feel like they're risking pissing off their core fans more than they are pleasing them. Now, if, if I'm wrong, I'd love to hear that because I think it could be interesting. But- so people it's will tell not me. like they're not going to do a Zelda game on the Wii U. No, I know. I, I'm this just... is a stopgap to hold them over. One of the first games they demoed for the Wii U was the new Zelda game. It, it was one of the ones you, you couldn't play it, but you could watch it, and it looked gorgeous. I just think it's a really weird sport. choice. You think it's a weird choice? Then again, I, I, don't, I think it's a, it's enough to me. It's like it could be cool, you know. If you go out and if you're a Zelda fan, if you like hack and slashers, hell, I'd probably like it more than Zelda. Um, well, you're not a big Zelda fan, okay? No, but I mean. It, I don't know. It'll probably do fine for them. Maybe it won't be a big deal. Because you look at Pokemon, they've farmed that out to Chunsoft to do the Mystery Dungeon series. And granted, I get more returns and exchanges on those games than yeah. anything because no one knows what it is. But it hasn't particularly damaged the Pokemon franchise. So maybe you're right. Maybe it's not going to matter in the long I run. I think if people are... People, people are going to... If you don't like the idea, you're going to wait for the regular Legend of Zelda Wii U game. It's going to attract people to this that be, wow, this is a new idea. Maybe it's a spin-off franchise that continues and Nintendo's successful with it. You know, like, to me, it's it's, it's worth the, the risk versus pissing off hardcore Zelda no, fans. I Who mean, cares? Admittedly, I'm overthinking it. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to put myself in the mind of a shitty message board and I'm seeing it go up in flames because of this. That's all, that's all I'm saying, you know. It was going to matter. They'll, they'll get not. over it, I think. I think it's, it's trying to reach out to... Like I said, again, it's a stopgap. If the, if the new Zelda game is going to come out for, say, two more years, this will next year this will hold them over. If it comes out, like, say, I don't know, next fall. I don't know when they announce I think it's probably still an alpha build or whatever. You know, the graphics didn't look that refined on, on the demo. They, haven't even have, have, they don't even have a name for it yet, so it's probably not even close to coming out. Um, you know? And I'm sure Nintendo will, will do a bit of quality control. Yeah, they're not going to... a little different. You know, if Zelda's, what, their second or, or third biggest franchise, they're not going to let it just go up and... You know, and in flames. So, huh. they're gonna be looking over the shoulder, like, you know, like like that. If I can do that, yeah, it just seems it just seems odd. That is a, actually would that be the second or third? I think Smash is bigger than Zelda, or is Zelda still bigger than Smash? I don't know. That's, that's kind of tough to think about. Just, anyway, yeah. I think it's interesting. We'll see. I think the Wii U is gonna rebound a little bit. It, it may never. Get, it's not gonna get back to the Wii. The Wii did ridiculous number of sales. But I don't think it's going to be a failure like the GameCube was. I think it'll be somewhere in between. I think it's like maybe N64 and GameCube. Somewhere in there. Or N64-ish. You know, like, yeah, It's too soon to tell. But, I mean, with, with, with what's been announced and what is coming out, I mean, I'm personally closer to, to buying one. See, I am too. 
Yeah. I think the three hundred price point with a couple of free games isn't bad. Two fifty would be would be awesome. But three hundred. I think yeah. it just depends on what people want out of their system. I'm okay with a system having, you know, maybe eight to ten games I'd want for it in its life cycle. I think a lot of people. Besides aren't. ones you might download. Yeah. You know, well, like, I, I, I'm 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 notorious for downloading a bunch of like stuff. like like for example uh, the re- NES remix for yeah, that. Yeah. Like, okay. Sure. Well then, yeah, and if they have Nintendo's not bad with indie games. They have some, so there you go. All right, all right, moving on. 